Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Dose. In this video, we'll learn how to use custom formatting in Excel. I will walk you through three different examples. The first example will be like, it will show only the up and down arrows. And in the second example, it will show up and down arrow with the percentage change. And in the third example, it will show only the up arrows for the higher division. So let's get started with the video. To start with the custom formatting, first we have to understand the basic of the formatting, like how it works. For that, what we have to do is either we can click uh, right click and select format cell or we can press Ctrl plus one. It's the same option. Okay, then click on custom and here you can see the different different kind of samples are present, right? So we have to do one of them. So for the custom formatting, so the main is like the semicolon now first semicolon is for the positive value or the for the positive result and the second is for the negative and the third one is for the hide the text or text okay so now if i need here the positive result for one and negative result for minus one for that what i have to do is i have to type here is like quotation mark and positive and we need here the value for that i will type here the hash okay. and then in the second semicolon what i have to do is i have to type here the negative and then close the quotation mark and then type the hash okay the third one is uh, not mandatory so i can remove it also or you can leave it also okay so just simply click on okay now if i write here the one now you will see it will show you as a positive one and if i type here minus one it will mark it as a negative one and if you see in the formula bar it will present only the numbers okay not a any a formatted option okay and if i type here zero it will mark as a nothing okay but it will present as a zero okay now again we'll go to that one now i will use the third option which is like a hide okay now i will type here hide and then again semicolon okay so then press this one now you can see hide and here it will show as a zero so it doesn't matter either either it's a text or the number okay so now let's move to our first example and first we have to calculate here the percentage change for that what we have to do is we have to type here the formula if error and the first value is like the actual value divided by the target minus one comma zero and then i will drag the formula here and it should be in the percentage so i will press ctrl shift 5 okay now you can see the percentage is coming now the next thing is we need here all the up and downs arrow not these numbers for that what we have to do is we have to select or click anywhere and then click on insert and here we have to select the symbol okay now here in the font section you have to select the Arial. and once you click on this one you just scroll down there you will see these up and down arrow so since i am using it recently so it will comes in the recently used symbol so i will select this one first and then the, this one also up and down okay so then just simply close okay now these all are arrows are here so now simply just control c okay now we have to select all these value and then press control one then go here in the custom now we have to type over the formula okay now the first one is like the we need the positive value okay wherever it is a positive so the arrow should be in the up direction okay for that what we have to do is we have to type here the quotation mark and then the upside arrow okay i will remove this one and then semicolon and again quotation mark and this time this one down arrow okay and then click on the okay okay now you can see all our arrows are coming now we need here the font color also for that what we have to do is press again control one 
and before this quotation mark we have to type the color code okay so for that we have to use the square bracket and for the upside we need a green color and for downside we need the red color okay so then click on okay now you can see it changed to the color also okay now suppose if you don't like this green color so you can change here also for that there is a some code is also there so i will mention the code url in video description so how to use that one so simply go to this official website and then you can choose any of the color code how to use the color code so suppose i want to use this green color then what i have to do is i have to go to my excel and then in the green signal what we have to type here is color and then the number okay the color code is 10 okay then press the 10. okay now you can see green color is changed now let's move to our second example in the second example we need here up and downs arrow as as well as the numbers percentage also okay like how much percentage is changed again we'll calculate here the if error a percentage change this one actual value divided by target minus one comma zero and then we'll drag the formula here also and then control shift five okay now we have to copy the formula from here okay so for that first just press control one now just simply copy this particular formula okay because since we have to use the same kind of formula okay then select this one and then press the control one and go to custom and just paste that formula okay now since we need here the percent is changed number also for that what we have to do is we have to simply go here and after this square bracket we have to type zero percent is if what does it mean is if number is in positive it will show that number as well as the upside arrow and if the number is negative then we have to type here minus zero percent is okay so let's me do this one okay now let's simply just click on okay now you can see here it's coming as a minus 14 percent down arrow also now suppose if you need here the space also for that what you have to do is simply press ctrl 1 again and then after this zero percent is just type star mark okay and press space bar and the same we have to do for the minus zero percent star space okay so that the space comes here also okay then space on okay now you can see the space is coming okay and if i adjust the column also okay not like this so if i adjust the column like this so you can see this symbol will move out also so now let's move to our third example where we need a upside arrow for the higher deviation only okay i, I have copied the formula here now only thing is we have to do is like copy the formula from here so again press ctrl 1 and then just simply copy this formula okay and then click ok now again we have to press here ctrl 1 okay then go to custom and here we'll paste the formula okay now since we need only the higher value with upside arrow for that what we have to do is we have to simply remove this red symbol or the formula okay and then click here uh, semicolon and then press the ok button now you can see remaining things is like hidden and the we are getting only the higher value with the upside arrow so this is how you can use a custom formatting in excel i hope you like this video please like share and for channel support please subscribe to excel dose and hit the bell icon thank you so much for watching